My men are hard at work. I'm really excited. We're working on this chicken house project. Hopefully I'm gonna get it painted here soon and we're gonna put a new roof on it. Maybe build a lean-to or possibly getting goats. I'm so excited to get some more animals on this farm. Anyway, he is setting down railroad ties. He's gonna fill that up with gravel then we're gonna set the chicken coop on top, so. What are you doing, Xander? You are? And here's a shed we had bought last year, and it's gonna be our chicken coop. And Nolan is working at building all this fence. Down there is the dog shed. More pasture. You are busy, busy. So here is the chicken coop or shed right now. We're gonna have to put screens on these windows and figure out something to close this if it gets too cold. In here there's a shelf. I'm planning to possibly take that and put it further down for nesting boxes. And we're gonna paint this whole shed. We're gonna get a new roof for it. And then we're thinking of building a little lean-to off the back here for goats. Have little goats running with our chickens. Xander's gonna love that. Do a good job. Yeah. What is it? Chicken shed. Today I'm going to tackle the chicken coop. We really want to have this ready in probably another month. So I want to get this thing painted. So no one got it set on the pad. I just have to do a few things. Maybe run some nails or screws in some places. So these window frames are rotted out. I'm gonna be taking those off, taking these window boxes off, and a few things like that. I'll just quickly brush this off, and then we're gonna paint trim today. trim pieces off of the other trim pieces. I hope I didn't need to measure. Hopefully that wasn't a stupid mistake. Anyway, we're gonna go see if I can get them to fit. have the window trims finished. Now I'm just gonna be going around on different parts of the trim and places and making sure everything's maybe putting a few extra screws in. This cracked when we were moving it, but I think I'm just gonna let it put a few screws in. This right here, I'm gonna try to run a couple extra down through. A few things like that before we start. And the other thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take this door off before I start painting. What you doing? Okay. Show me okay. You know what 
that's for, don't you? You watch and learn. <laughs> Good job. Ooh. Just don't get that in your eye, okay? I have two coats of brown paint on all the trim and one coat on the floor so and some of the windows like the ones that I had just cut this morning the fresh wood I put three coats on and I ran out of paint so I need to go get some more brown paint to finish this we're also going to be adding on a shed or kind of a lean-to on the back here because we're gonna get goats so I'm gonna need more brown paint for that trim anyway so I need more brown paint and then figure out what color red I want Oh, this is so frustrating. So this morning I ran to get paint. I thought I found a paint chip I liked. It was like this kind of deeper red. Brought it home, started painting, and it looks pink. Totally pink. Anyway, and I don't think they had the color quite true to the sample, but I took it back and the guy helped me find a new color that he thought would be more what I was looking for and so I really hope so. So I wasted a whole morning, it's now two o'clock. Anyway, we're gonna try this again. All right, let's see if this little thing works. Love it! Definitely much better. I think it's still a little bit orange, maybe. But this works pretty good. Oh yeah! Whoa, this thing is slick. This is gonna go so much faster. So much faster. Thank you, God. I am super happy with how this paint turned out. Sorry, I didn't video a whole lot of me working in the front. Look at this. Ah! It's definitely more the color I was going for, but now I hear thunder in the distance, so I better call it quits, clean up my paint, and tackle the other walls some other day, but at least I got the front one done. So Nolan is working at finishing the lean-to goat part of the shed. So he was doing like a longer lean-to, was planning to cut off the ends, but I kind of like how it looks. I told him, why can't we just extend the roof uh, on this side and then there'd be like a little shade overhang as well. So I think we're gonna go with that. I'm really liking how it's looking. What are you doing, Xander? Fine. Oh, no, I'm not taking it. Are you dad's big helper? Yeah. And how's your hired help? It's pretty good. What's he uh, getting per hour? The work, work, turn, worker turnover's been pretty good recently. He's stuck with me <laughs> about three years now. Okay. Skill level's not real good, I'd say. Yeah, he doesn't learn things real easily, but. <laughs> Xander, have you stuck with dad for three years? <laughs> Just up there helping him, huh? <laughs> you be careful. Come job. Half an inch off, that's not too bad. I got it, Mom. You got it, huh? Yeah, feed muscles. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it on the roof now. You look like such a big help. Yeah, look at that. All right, I have my screw gun. So I'm gonna be working in the chicken house just a little bit. Right now I'm waiting to finish painting it until Nolan has the entire um, goat shed part finished. I can just paint everything and be finished. So right now there's some shelves on the inside that I want to move down and kind of reconstruct them so that I can make chicken nesting boxes, laying boxes for the chickens.
You got what from mommy? Four flowers. Well, that is terrible kind. Look at this pretty one. Kids, are blue. They are blue. They're actually purple. You're starting to really pick flowers for mom. How do I flower for you? I pick. Oh, that is so nice, Xander. Yeah, it's terrible kind of you. Play with them. Play with them? Yeah, they're so fun. And they are fun. Okay, you keep playing with them. Mom's going to keep working. Ouch! What's half of 89? Uh, 44 and a half. So what's half of 89 and a half? Uh, 44 and three quarter. Thank you. You're amazing. 44 and three quarter. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Xander. Do you want to take that out in the lawn for mommy? At the lawn. Just put it out in that box so we don't lose it. On this box? Yeah. We have to take it over to dad's saw. Okay, come over here. Oh, big help. You are big help. I'm not just drawing that for myself. Yeah, let's go over here. Whoa, whoa. Uh, big muscle, careful. Mom. Thank you. Big up a shelf but if you're me you can all right since I put this last side screwed that in my bubble is no longer completely level but hey it's just chickens they surely won't mind if their eggs roll a little bit to the left <laughs> No, it's not bad. Just a hair. All right, now, won't that be awesome? Aw. Now I wanna put a little lip around here so these crates don't fall out. All right, I have a bunch of these chair rails that were on the porch of this shop. I think this will work good. You put it like so. I have been just putting these rails around the corner and see if this last one fits. Not bad. Woo! Just so fits. All right. Now I want to make little roosting bars out here yet. So one of the reasons I wanted to use crates for nesting boxes, for one, it's super easy. Uh, secondly, I'd like to be able to take them out of the chicken coop now and then to clean. Some people use plastic bins, but I really like the look of the rustic ones. I want to kind of make this chicken coop, you know, cute, hang up little signs on the outside because it's just what I enjoy doing. I like having creative things. So, um, I might put like linoleum on the bottom of each crate. That way it's easy to just come out, wash down, clean, um, and there'll be obviously straw or sawdust on top of that, but yeah, I'm happy with it. And the other thing I want to do is get Nolan to help me build a roof over the nesting boxes. That way the chickens don't sit on top of them and poop all over. So, yep. But it's getting dark. I need to go make dinner. It's probably about seven. Are you getting hungry, Xander? Yeah. Are you being a big help? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, going in here and dig. You're digging? In here. Really? What? In here. Are you digging up my tulips? What? You digging up my tulips? Nope. Okay. Do you need some loving? Oh, <laughs> puppy puppies. <laughs> oh, where the puppies? Where the Careful. And this shed is looking amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. You are skilled. Seems. A skilled craftsman. 
Now I can build a goat pen. <laughs> I really like this long sloping roof. First we were just going to bring it out to about here and he just automatically ran them down. I'm like, hey, couldn't we just make an overhang then we'd have some shade here. Uh, and this will be all um, have panels up, have walls there. And then we're going to have the doorway right here. This is going to be the run-in part because the wind always comes from this direction and it's really strong. So we have to have the door this way. And then we're planning to do the chicken door on this side as well. You want me to hold it? Mm -hmm. Maybe be great. Let me just make sure. What do you think, Xander? You like it? Yeah. What is it? Okay. For the goats. A roof. For the goats. Are you excited to get little goats? Yeah. I bet. They're so cool. What? They're cool. They're cool. Mm -hmm. Coco likes you. Be careful. Yes. That one taken care of, Mom. <laughs> Obviously, I say it all the time. All right, it's another day, and I'm back where we can get the chicken coop. And what I'm going to do today, some, is put linoleum down on the floor. I read somewhere that this will help preserve the wood because obviously chicken poo is pretty acidic and can rot out wood pretty quickly and it also make it much easier to clean out. So luckily we had a roll up in our attic that should work well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And I also plan to put some in the bottom of the nesting boxes. I actually got three, actually four crates today. So I'm liking how it's turning out. Sit on it. Thank you, Bubba. Now, can you hold that down? What? Hold it down like that. Thank you. Now just keep your finger there. Your big help. Good job. Now can you come over and push this end down? Okay, push. Whoops, sorry. Okay, push it down against the floor. Thank you. Like that. Watch out, watch hey, out. Hey, hey, no, you watch out. You watch out. Mommy's cutting. Alright, I got this linoleum tacked down. Nothing like just taking staples and going right down through. It's nothing pretty, but hopefully it'll protect the floor. I think I'm gonna put, see if I have enough to put in these laying boxes. Check out how this turned out. I really like these nests. So I wanna see if I can get linoleum put into these. It's not gonna be pretty, but I'm gonna have straw on top anyway. That'll just make it much easier to clean. All right, I have all these finished. So I think that'll work out good. Got the linoleum in. Oh yeah. That concludes today's video, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss the final results of our garden shed turned chicken coop. In the next video, we will continue working on our homestead and I will attempt to make a roof for my nesting boxes. Also, the chicken coop gets painted and Nolan hands over his heavy fencing nail gun, totally trusting me not to run a nail through my hands as we put up our board fence. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a like and a comment. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!